if I had to guess, you would have probably 12 to 20 some odd emitters in this thing. You want timing feedback. It's gonna be a lot of tweaking, a lot of adjusting this curve and that curve and that value. And was it this? And I'm gonna have to solo that group to check it. Typically what we like to do is we like to solve timing first. It's too late for that now, but lesson for your next effect, right? We like to get very simple emitters and we like to block in our effects. So do something like maybe four emitters. Maybe there's one emitter for the spike in the middle. There's one emitter for the ring and there's one emitter for these um, little sparks. And then maybe there's like a secondary emitter for like some kind of pulse at the core. You'd be amazed at how much time you can spend getting that timing on a very basic blocked in effect really nailed down.